subscribe and click the bell icon to turn on notifications. We've made the files the instructor uses in this tutorial available for free. Just click the link below in the video details to get these. Hello everyone and welcome back to this course on Word 2019 Advanced. We're down in section 5 where we've been exploring the options that we have when it comes to graphics and pictures in your documents. And in the previous module we took a look at how you can fill shapes with pictures. Now in this module I want to talk to you a little bit about file size when it comes to a document that contains multiple images. One thing you need to be careful of if you do have a document like this that has a lot of graphics in it or photos that you've added is that the file size can get really huge. So if we take a look at this particular document that I have open on the screen, which is our travel newsletter, I've got quite a lot of images in here. Now these ones at the top seem fairly small, so you might think, well, they're not going to take up too much space. This one's a bit larger, but all in all, but on the face of it, these images wouldn't seem to increase the file size by a great deal because they're not absolutely huge. However, let's jump in and take a look at what the file size is currently at. If we jump up to the File tab and go down to Info, in the Properties section, I can see the size of this particular document and currently it's a whopping 43.6 meg. Now that is a pretty large file. And what you will notice is that if you do have a document which has quite a few pictures in it, you'll start to notice some lag. So when it comes to things like saving, it will take a little bit longer. If you have this document automatically uploading into OneDrive or cloud storage, you might find you get a delay as it does that. So what can we do about this if we want a nice document with lots of really high quality images in it? Well, there is something we can do to help keep that file size down. And that is an option in Word called Compress Images. So what you need to do is you need to click on any image in your document. So let's click on our image of the gorilla. I then get access to my Drawing Tools and Picture Tools tabs at the top. And again, I can utilize either of these. So I'm going to jump into Picture Tools. And in the Adjust group, you'll see you have an option to compress pictures. And as I hover over, it says compress pictures in the document to reduce its size. So if I click this option, I get two compression options at the top. I can choose to compress just the picture that I'm clicked on, which is what I currently have selected. Now, the second option in here is a really important one. Delete cropped areas of picture. If you're trying to reduce the file size of your document, it's a good idea to have this option ticked. Because if you don't, essentially what happens is that when you crop a picture, like we did with this gorilla picture, if you remember, we went up to the crop tool, we filled and then we cropped. If you don't have this option selected, even though you can only see the cropped area, it means that the entire high definition picture is still floating around in the background of this document and adding to that file size. So always make sure that when you are cropping pictures that you select delete cropped areas of picture to keep that file size down. You then have some options with regards to the resolution of the pictures in your document. And of course, the higher the resolution, the more space that's going to take up, the bigger the file size. So sometimes it is a bit of a balancing act with regards to the quality of the original picture and trying to keep that file size as low as possible. Now, I always like to select this top option, which preserves the quality of the original picture. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to untick the apply only to this picture option because I want to compress all of the images in this particular document. I'm going to click on OK. So let's go and take a look at what our file size is now. I'm going to go back up to File, into Info, and look at that. We're down to 15.3 megabytes, so quite a difference there. We've managed to shave off about 25 meg of file size. If I want to compress it even more, if I go back, I may decide that I don't need a super, super high quality. So I can click on a picture again. 
go up to Format and into Compress Pictures once more. I'm going to take the tick out of this top box and I'm going to utilize this print option. So it says excellent quality on most printers and screens. So I'm going to say print, which is a slightly lower resolution. Click on OK. I'm going to save my document. And let's take one more look. File, Info. And now we're down to 12 megs. So very quickly, we've managed to shave off a lot of that file size. And if you do that, you'll find that your document works more efficiently and you won't get that lag in as much. So just be aware of that, particularly if you have longer documents which contain lots of images, make sure that you choose to delete the cropped areas and also compress all of the pictures to a quality that's suitable for you. That's it for this module. I will see you in the next one. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get the files the instructor used in this tutorial and follow along, click over there. And click over there to watch more videos on YouTube from Simon Says It.